I find it a little bit unusual, maybe for me, uh, to struggle to find the right words for this occasion. Um, it seems so long ago that I was struggling to find the right words for my inaugural speech. First, I want to express my appreciation for those who let their names stand in this election and congratulate the winners. And I want to express my appreciation to Don Irwin for his work on City Council over these past years. I know his efforts have been appreciated. In anything we do, we can either remember the negatives or focus on the positives. I choose to remember the positives, and there have been many from my term as mayor. I will remember working with city manager Diane Hunter and the best staff I've ever had the pleasure of being involved with, appreciating their support and the support of the public I represented. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes pol politicians regard the public, the voters, as a nuisance who don't understand the realities of politics and governance, except perhaps at election time. But I've enjoyed working with and for our citizens, respecting them and their views, even when those views weren't the same as mine. That's democracy. When I ran for mayor, I said I wanted to reduce crime, have better communication between City Hall and the citizens we represent, and I vowed to be fiscally responsible and careful with how we spent taxpayer dollars. Well, crime has dropped. We communicate with the public far better than ever before and tax increases were minuscule during my term. And I think we were more responsive to our citizens' needs than ever before. That alone gives me great satisfaction, but there's more. The accomplishments I will remember most include convincing the CEO of Air Canada to reinstate flight passes for air travelers across northern BC, convincing Air Canada again to provide a handicapped access ramp for our airport. Marketing the Pomeroy Sports Center with millions raised to sponsor programs, thus easing the financial burden on taxpayers. Designating Fort St. John the music capital of northern BC in recognition of our emerging music industry. Refusing to spend your money frivolously on new projects and fighting for more infrastructure dollars from senior government so taxpayers don't have to bear the total burden of improving our streets, sidewalks, water, and sewer systems. Politics is a funny business. You're on call 24-7 and voters feel that you belong to them. I wouldn't have it any other way. We are given huge responsibilities and even though public comments and concerns may at times seem harsh, we chose this road and we have to accept that. The fact is politicians are only as good as their last decision, the last headline. Well, my last decision to not run again was a good one for me, for my family, and given how cynical I've become, probably for the city too. Regrets? I've had a few as the old song goes. But I don't regret serving the people of Fort St. John. Being mayor of this city has been my life's greatest honor. Thank you for the opportunity to work for you, the people, to work with the great city staff, to work with our rural neighbors and neighboring municipalities to make the Northeast stronger. I like to think I had a hand in improving cooperation between all levels of government and with the drivers of our local economy. And I certainly don't regret working with the dedicated politicians from towns, cities, and regions across BC and Canada. I applaud their efforts and the sacrifices they make as I have made them. But now it's time to turn the page. The city has new leadership, and I hope they are successful. I hope they continue the efforts made over the past three years to stay connected to the public, to manage taxpayers' money responsibly, to reinforce the city's position as the place to be, and to always remember they are servants as well as leaders. This city has a key role to play in the future of Northeastern BC. As the largest city in the region and as the service center of the oil and gas industry, others look to us to set an example. 
That example should be of a city that manages its affairs responsibly, a city that looks after needs first and wants when the money is available, a city that cares for all its citizens, old and young, rich and poor, business owners and employees alike. Those are challenging tasks and I wish the next administration luck as they tackle them. Thank you again for letting me serve this great city.